in today's digital world, it's something that we've lost touch with. Just engaging each other verbally, sharing information and interacting with each other. I think that's happening more and more in local tap rooms and craft breweries across the country. Very diverse people sitting next to each other and drinking beer, probably from opposite political spectrums, income spectrums, but yet they're enjoying something together that starts to generate conversation. That sense of community and sense of belonging, and it seems to make people happy, just a beautiful thing. Growing up in Montana, I just feel like I belong here. I always felt like this was home to me. After nine years of being in the military, decided to come back to Montana and raise my kids. I actually took beer from the local brewery to this poker game one night. Someone made a comment, hey, if you like that beer, you should go talk to the bank because I heard they're in trouble and you could probably buy that place. So all of a sudden, I owned a brewery. Friends and family helped out in the tap room. My wife kept asking, hey, when is this thing gonna pay the bills? Or when is it at least gonna pay its own bills? Because in those days, I was feeding it. Every once in a while, people would come around on the weekend when I was brewing and pound on the door and, and want to meet me and want to shake my hand and say thank you. I had never really had a job with that level of feedback. Immediate gratification. I realized this is something that could be really fun. It kind of was fledgling for six, seven years. All of a sudden, craft beer really started to explode. I felt like, wow, there's something to this. People are really getting into this. I heard about this place that we're in now, which was the old Columbia Paint Factory. We moved in here in 2011. Then we really started to take off. Growing 30, 40% a year, year over year got a great team of brewers. Any money we brought in, we just bought more tanks so we could make more beer. We couldn't make enough. My passion started to shift into the marketing side of things. I specifically decided, hey, I want to try to connect with other elements of our society locally one of the first things I did is get into live music in a big way. We also have a small gallery here. Every Tuesday night from five to eight, a dollar of every beer we sell goes to whatever charity is that charity of the week. Things that involve the community, connecting to different parts of the local society, that really became a foundational principle I truly believed craft brewing is responsible for the revitalization of a lot of communities. That's something that just kind of happens and people don't realize. We had people calling, can we get your beer here? Can we get it here? And we just couldn't make enough. We were shorting orders by about 50% every week because we needed to send Bozeman some, and we needed to send Great Falls some, and we needed to, and it was just a frustrating existence. Everybody always says, what a great problem to have. And it is a great problem to have, but it's still a problem. So in 2016, we took a big plunge and we did a $9 million expansion, pushed all the chips in the middle of the table, our new brewery is much more efficient, much larger. Uh, quality control is just unbelievable. There's certainly been nights that I've thought, 
why did I do that? Everything was fine and the business was making money. So now we are in a position where we need to grow. At least enough to make the payments on a lot of shiny equipment we bought. So it is pushing us to move into new markets like Idaho and Washington and Wyoming and probably North Dakota and South Dakota. Realistically, in my mind, I don't have grandiose dreams of taking over the world with beer. I would really love this facility to work at a profitable range so I can really take care of my employees, which are my number one concern. That means more to me, honestly, than squeaking out another 2% of profit. I get a question a lot from other breweries. How did you get where you're at? What are the keys to success? I think if there's one thing that you must do, it is take care of the people that you have. All this equipment and these tanks and the pumps and all that stuff, boy, if the lights go out and you're sitting here alone, it's a scary place to be. You need very passionate people to buy into the dream that you are pushing forward and taking care of those people is what's gonna keep them passionate. This last competition, the Great American Beer Festival, we were named Small Brewing Company of the Year, which is just a huge honor for us. Especially nowadays where you have over 2,500 breweries into a competition. I'm humbled by how many awards we've been fortunate enough to win. Obviously we're doing something right and obviously we've got a great team of people and just wouldn't work without that. I never would have dreamed we would be where we are right now. That really has been a blessing for us. I'm at that spot in life where if I can just get my bases covered and take care of my people and grow this machine to be a great contributor to not only Helena and the neighborhood, but to the state at large. Wow, what a beautiful thing to have built.